Hello and welcome to part 8 of this tutorial series. In this part, we are going to talk about daily time schedule. Daily time schedule is very similar to simple schedule with some more functionality focusing on jobs that need to run on a daily or weekly schedule. It has all the basic methods for setting an interval like simple schedule did. You can set the interval in seconds, minutes and hours. It has also a more generic method for setting the interval using an amount and a unit. One of the most notable functionality of the daily schedule is the ability to set what time of day or what day of week the trigger is allowed to run. To set the start and the end time of the day the trigger is allowed to run, we use the starting daily at, which takes a parameter of time of day, and ending daily at, which also takes a parameter of time of day. Once those properties are set, then the trigger will only run between these two points in time. Let's try and set a schedule which will allow the job to run only between 9 and 10 pm with an interval of 5 seconds. Let's start our application and let's run our job. Because the time currently here is 8.30 pm, the job is not running. Let's try and change our start and end point for our job. Let's make it between 8 and 10 pm and let's run our application again. Once we start a job, we'll see that the job gets executed every 5 seconds. As we can see, setting the starting daily ad and ending daily ad will limit the job to run between two periods in time. If you want to specify what day of the week you want the trigger to run, then we can use the following methods. We can set it to run on every day, on Monday through Friday, or on Saturday and Sunday. And if you want more control on which day you want to run the trigger, then you need to use the on days of the week method which takes a list of parameters with type day of week where you can pass exactly the days you want it to run on. Let's make a quick demonstration on using the days of the week method. Let's tell our application to only run on Mondays and Tuesdays. If we run our application and start our job, we will not see anything on the output window because the current day today is Sunday, so it does not meet the criteria. Let's include Sunday on the list. Now let's run the application again and start our job. We'll see that the trigger gets executed. That's it for the daily time schedule, we will talk more about different schedules on later videos.